Computers were invented out of necessity. They do things faster than we can. In America, nothing is stronger or faster than a supercomputer named Titan. Why do we need a supercomputer? The supercomputers that we have today are really addressing some of the most important problems that we have in the world. They just can't be done on smaller computers. In fact, we need more powerful computers to address fully all of the science that we want to be able to accomplish. And what kind of problems are we talking about here? We're tackling all kinds of problems in the energy space. We're also looking at basic materials problems. How do you keep materials from aging? We're working on things like fuel economy, everything from how the universe formed down to the smallest nanoparticles. Can you compare the power of a supercomputer to, let's say, my smartphone? It would probably be 10 million times more powerful than what you can do with one smartphone. It's more powerful than any other computer that's available to the open science community in the world. It's powerful because there are a lot of computers working together to achieve one goal. Check out all of these towers. When stacked together, they have the capability of completing 20,000 trillion calculations per second. Translation, researchers will be able to utilize that computing power in order to have more scientific breakthroughs. Walk me through how this works. Each circle is going to be what we call a neuron. The neurons are connected to each other. We have different layers of neurons, and each layer is going to do something different to the data. And this architecture, this is how you're trying to mimic the brain, how the brain processes yeah, this information. Yeah, this is the you know a current approach to mimicking how the brain processes data. With Titan, the advantage that we have is we actually can run multiple designs in parallel to try to find the right design that works best. Is this the kind of computer that we should be scared of? I love science fiction movies, and I've seen all of the ones, uh, you know, with computers taking over the world. We're a long, long ways from anything like that happening. I think we should look to Titan and other machines like it as uh, the best tools that we have to do science to help the world. <laughs>